All right, I hope my audio is coming good. So yeah, as you can see, the gauges uh, have a little issue, but this is because of the battery. I don't know what this battery is doing, but if I charge it <laughs> multiple times, it goes, it goes normal. All right. So right now it's fully charged. Hmm. And hope you can hear my audio correctly. Let's go once. <laughs> yeah, this thing is super comfortable. Comfortable. <laughs> my window, I mean, visor is all fogged up. Shouldn't close that. All the way. <laughs> See that whining sound that you hear? It's nice. Yeah, now you're probably hearing wind noise too because I mounted the microphone right above my left cheek. And yeah, this thing has regenerative braking too. But we'll see. This thing has sports motor? Probably not. It's pretty zippy. I mean, this is a 120 volt system. So, I mean, you can go really on the freeway without any problems pretty zippy, I mean, zippy. Yeah. I mean, it's a scooter. You can have two people comfortably in there. It's a great commuter. I'm going on a short ride on a freeway. Uh, same thing I did with my Busa, but this is definitely no Busa. It's going to be much, much clearer, but we'll see. As far as the sound quality goes. I mean, I'm full throttle right now. The wind noise is a lot, but engine noise is none. It's pretty chilly right now. Oh, God. Yep, it is chilly. Yep, wrong gloves. Uh, 15 miles is a trip. 
Yeah, total mileage on this is 3856.5 miles. All right. So yeah, it's pretty chilly right now. This concrete pavement is bouncy and slippery. We'll see. But yeah, it's pretty cold. But the thing is my legs are warm because they are not touching the I mean wind. The scooters are better that way because they've locked the wind better. On a motorcycle you feel that. So my zero you feel the wind a lot more so it's a lot more intense one bar yet <laughs> yeah it's zippy I just I don't want to get the bend too much <laughs> yeah my visor is getting foggy So that's how much wind you have. And I close it because I want you to be able to hear me without the wind noise. <laughs> yep, 55 miles per hour. cold I don't know if it's a good idea to go on the freeway but I have to because I want to know what the quality of the sound is I've lost like two bars three bars hello Portland this is Wasash on his electric scooter trying to make a YouTube video for your entertainment only in chilly weather <laughs> so much fun yep a scooter leaning yep not wrong zipping up full speed full throttle <laughs> Speed is okay. Probably hundred kilometers per hour. No, not even that. 
yeah so wind noise i think it has to do with the uh, helmet more but where you place your microphone is key the last time in my busa i placed the microphone right at my uh below my mouth so i think it was a chin and my chin so yeah so a lot of wind was coming in right from underneath the helmet and it was making my microphone basically fail so now i have my microphone at my cheek left cheek and now it's a uh, now it's basically <laughs> yeah basically left cheek means it's uh if i lift the visor you can hear outside if i shut it down then it's quieter because the microphone is not really in line with uh line with the uh wind so now recovering from loss of feet we'll say i still have about one two three remaining bars it's got a lot of more bars we'll say yeah very quiet when it's not going anywhere i mean for stop and go traffic these electric scooters and motorcycles are really good i mean very serene ride see i mean at low speed you don't even feel the van but as it goes faster it, I mean, I have a little opening on my visor and it's blowing wind. <laughs> uh, make it. Funny fact about the scooter, it has Brembo brakes in the front. Yeah, I mean, electric motorcycle or car companies, you know, they basically like automotive engineering and they, they sometimes go really scary on certain component. I mean, these things, I mean, this is way f more powerful than a even a 250 from because it's instant torque see I mean yeah I'm going on a freeway on a scooter this is not what it's designed for I mean the scooters are designed for regular street riding I mean you can go on freeway but there's a lot of men and I need to let my visor down so yeah a lot of wind on the freeway and basically you have to you know the electric motor elect, uh, has to fight against the wind and if you don't want to waste your battery you don't want to go on the freeway because the faster you go the more power you need to fight the drag that's one of the reasons why electric cars have some of the lowest drag coefficient. They're not, uh, they're not designed to be big chunk of metal to roll. I mean, they they have very good low ro rolling resistance, and they also have a low drag coefficient. So 
when you hit the wind at higher speed it affects it less so if you have an old style like a you know one of those muscle cars that didn't have the aerodynamics like the newer cars you know you would um, you would basically have to spend a lot of power compensating for the drag The idea right now is to use it, then charge it, use it, charge it, because it definitely doesn't have that many miles on it. I mean, this is a 2007, made in 2007, yeah, this is old tech. So 2007 bike uh, that has 3,800 miles on it, that's not a lot of miles for any vehicle even motorcycle, moped, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so the idea is put some charge in, charge out. I mean, the batteries kind of get dormant. I mean, they're like, they're not able to give you full capacity till you actually cycle them. I mean, these are nickel metal hard drive batteries inside this scooter. So if you, If you don't, uh, if you don't use the motorcycle, electric motorcycle, and just uh, keep it on charger, I mean, the charger doesn't kick in as much, and then basically it fine um, is self discharge much less than lead acid battery, but it's still. Uh, you know they lose capacity like that even though i think uh, a previous owner had a mechanical charger which would uh, turn off and on just to cycle the charging but the fact remains that he didn't ride it much so if you don't ride it much uh you are going to lose the range or capacity of the battery so what you need to do is use it uh, just like electric cars too I mean like uh, if you have an electric car and you leave it parked and don't charge it eventually the battery is going to go dead and then you know you need to replace your battery back because uh, it's a high voltage pack uh, and generally when you fully discharge it not all cells will be okay with that and if your one cell is dead you you have a problem yeah the visor is fogging up really bad so i have to open the visor sorry about the wind noise but once my visor has uh, dried out then I'll close the visor yeah uh, the air is pretty cold I can feel it I'm gonna take you to through a different road because it's more uh, entertaining uh, you'll see they generally have trade fairs on this road it's a fairly new development uh, you know, trade fair is where it's kind of like um, where you have like uh, local food stalls, jewelry rides, and stuff like that. Fair, basically, and you you have people coming in from distance just to enjoy, and this happens here every year. So they developed it. There's also light train or we call the max station 
that max station is nice for people who don't want to drive and pay for the expensive parking they can park their car further away and take a max to the fair yeah the seat on this scooter is very comfortable I mean I can be on it all day and I'm not gonna feel it I mean this is like almost sitting on the couch yeah this is the fair grounds but this is where they put all the stuff like this becomes the car parking and then they have uh, they have basically tents right everything when uh, on the wheels comes in it also becomes an RV camp for people running the fair so yeah very good they play music late and yeah this is a nice thing but they yeah they did they, they, they developed this road very recently they did not um, have this before so it was all like a dirt farm land area so first thing the max station on the left that was then then there is a uh, this uh wing star expo center road i mean so yeah they also have a tennis court on the left at the end but yeah uh, yeah Crosswalk lights are nice. I wouldn't have noticed him if he was uh, just walking on the crosswalk. Because, you know, they're not wearing reflector vest, and I have a lot of things to look out for, especially in the dark. The lights are good, but they're not complete. Solution. This battery is old, <laughs> needs to be replaced with lithium ion or something, but you have to have a BMS, which is what's holding me back, not having a BMS on a battery pack, I mean, on a lithium battery pack, not an option. I mean, you can discharge it, but not ch while you're charging. Uh, you want to have because the voltage on any individual cell can go up, and that would mean freezing my glasses are fogged up my battery is off eh? I have to take the helmet off I hope you like this ride if you like it please subscribe like 
notification bell and put a comment thanks bye